Hey guys, I'm Carmen and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to crochet this ruffle crop top. Uh, I used Yarn Drops Loves You 7, that's Yarn Group A in beige color, but you can use any other yarn with similar characteristics. Uh, you will also need a 4mm crochet hook, a yarning needle, stitch markers, measuring tape and uh, scissors. You will also need to follow the gauge. Uh, 19 stitches is 10 centimeters in width and 16 rows is 10 centimeters in length in lemon uh, peel stitch. In this tutorial I am making a size small. You can adjust the size you need by yourself or you can buy a pattern in my store. Find the link to my store in the description box below. I use lemon peel stitch that's made of single crochets and double crochets. So if you're familiar with uh, basic crochet stitches, you're okay. But even if not, you can learn with my tutorial. The top is made of a front and a back panel. It's crocheted from bottom to top. First you will make the front panel, then the back panel. For the back panel you will start where the ruffle part begins. That's 10 rows less than for the front panel for the length. And you will crochet the ruffle part when the upper part of the back panel is finished. Then you will sew the, uh, together the shoulders and body sides and finishing with the neckline and one round of single crochets around the armhole. We're gonna start with the front panel by chaining 96 and for row 1 you will make one single crochet in second chain from the hook. Oh, and you will be making those uh, single crochets, I mean all stitches, in the back bump of the chain. Then you will make a double crochet in the next chain. And then you will make a single crochet in the next chain. And you will repeat that pattern until you reach the end. So the last chain and I will meet you there. You will finish first row with a single crochet and for row 2 you will chain 2 and turn and in first stitch you will make a double crochet that's on top of the single crochet from the first row and in the next stitch you will make a single crochet that's the double crochet of the previous row and then another double crochet and you will repeat this pattern across. So if I repeat, you will make single crochets on top of the double crochet of the first row and you will make double crochets on the top of the single crochets of the first row. Here I have two stitches left in row two. I will make a single crochet and then in the last stitch a double crochet. So that's the finished second row and for row three you will chain one and turn and you will make a single crochet in the first stitch and then you will repeat the pattern double crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the next and you will repeat rows two and three until row 40 and i will meet you for row 41.
With 1241 you start the decreasing for the armhole depth so you will chain one and you will turn and then you will make you make slip stitches in next two stitches so the first stitch and the second one and then you will chain one and you will you will make a single crochet in next stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern across until you have two stitches left So here are two stitches left in row 41 and for row 42 you will chain one and turn and you will slip stitch in the next two stitches one and uh, two and then you will chain two and you will make a double crochet in next stitch and then a single crochet in next stitch and you will repeat, re repeat this pattern until two stitches remain and I'll meet you there. Here we have two stitches left in row 42 and for row 43 you will chain one and turn and you will slip stitch in next two stitches one and two and then you will chain one and you will single crochet in next stitch and double crochet in next stitch and you will again repeat this pattern until you have two stitches left. So here are two stitches left in row 43. From here you will chain one and turn. And for row 44 you will again slip stitch in next two stitches. So one and two slip stitches and then you will chain two and you will make a double crochet next stitch and then you will make a single crochet next stitch and you will repeat this pattern until uh, two stitches remain
So here we have two stitches left in row 44 and for row 45 you will chain one and turn and you will make two slip stitches. So one slip stitch in next two stitches one and two and then you will chain one you will make a single crochet in next stitch and a double crochet in next stitch and you will repeat this pattern until two stitches remain. Here we have two stitches left in row 45. For row 46 you will chain one and uh, turn, a chain two and turn, sorry, and then you will make a double crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch, a double crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern until the end of this row. With row 46 we are finished with the armhole depth decreases. You will continue on to row 47 with chaining one and turning and you will make one single crochet in first stitch and one uh, double crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern across and then you will repeat rows 46 and 47 until row 67 and I will meet you there. When you're done with row 67, we're going to start with the right side of the neck hole. You will place a stitch marker um, on the 25th uh, stitch from the left and right. And uh, for row 68, for the right side, you will chain one and turning. And you will make a single crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern across until you reach the stitch marker the last stitch will be where the stitch marker is
for row 69 you will chain one and uh, turn and you will slip stitch in next 15 stitches After 15 slip stitches you will chain one and you will single crochet in 10 remaining stitches and then you will finish off and we're gonna continue with the left side of the neck hole. For the left side of the neck hole you will attach the yarn in the 25th stitch where the stitch marker is and you will start with row 68 so you're going to remove the stitch marker and insert the hook and attach the yarn you will chain one then and you will make a single crochet in, in that same stitch where the chain one is and then you will make a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in next and you will repeat this pattern until the end of this row 68 For row 69 you will chain one and uh, turn and you will single crochet in next 10 stitches and then you will finish off and uh, actually with that the front panel is finished and we're gonna continue on to the back panel. Thank you. 
For the back panel, you will repeat the instructions from the front panel until row 30. Here are the written instructions. And here are the written instructions for the arm hold up decreasing. You can also go back to see the video instructions for the front panel if it's easier to follow. I will meet you for row 59 where we will start with the right side of the neck hole. So for row 59 we're gonna start with the right side of the neck hole. You will place a stitch marker in 10 stitch from left and right side. Make sure to do that on both sides. You're going to start row 59 by chaining one and turning. So chain one and turn. And you will make a single crochet in the first stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat that pattern until you reach the stitch marker. The last stitch is where the stitch marker is. And then you will finish off and we're going to continue on to the left side of the neck hole. You're gonna start the left side of the neck hole by attaching the yarn in the end stitch where the stitch marker is. And then you will chain two and you will make a double crochet in that same stitch. And then you will make a single crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern to end of this row and then you're gonna finish off. Now we're going to be working on the ruffle part of the back panel on the bottom edge of the panel. So you will attach the yarn in the first chain of the foundation chain and you will chain one and you will make a single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So that's one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern until uh, the end of this row and you will be finishing with uh, one single crochet so one single crochet in the last stitch For row two you will chain one and turn and you will make a single crochet in the first stitch 
and then a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat this pattern across finishing with a double crochet in the last stitch You will repeat row 2 until row 10, you will have a total of 69 rows on the back panel and I will meet you for the assembling. We're gonna sew the shoulders together first, place the panels on top of each other with the right side spacing. And we can start with sewing the shoulders. So insert the hook. And attach the yarn. My yarn is already attached. You will chain one and you will make uh, slip stitches. Make sure you go through both panels and that you don't miss a stitch. So slip stitch across, you should have 10 uh, slip stitches and repeat the process on the other shoulder too. Next step is to sew the body sides together. You're gonna sew the body sides together with slip stitches as for the shoulders and I will meet you for the neckline. For the neckline you will have the right side facing you and you will attach the yarn in the center of the neck hole on the back panel and you will chain one and you will work single crochets around the neck hole uh, and then you at the end of the round you will slip stitch in first stitch of this round 
and I will meet you there for the round two. For round two you will be working into the front loops only so you chain one and you make a single crochet in the first stitch and then a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and you will repeat across until the end of the round uh, so what's important here is that the last stitch has to be a double crochet because we started with a single crochet so you continue the pattern single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet if it's not then undo one stitch so single crochet or add a double crochet you can test uh, which option works better for you So my round two is ending with a single crochet so now I decided I'm gonna make a double crochet the other option would be to undo the single crochet now I'm gonna slip stitch into the first stitch of the this round and for uh, so here you turn and for round three you will chain one then you will make a single crochet on the top of the double crochet of previous rows and then you will make a double crochet and then a single crochet and you will repeat this pattern across until the end of the round you're gonna slip stitch there and uh, finish off Now we just need to finish the armholes with the right side facing. You will attach the yarn near the armpit seam and you will work single crochets evenly across. This round of single crochets has to be a bit tighter so it looks like you are slightly decreasing in this round. Then at the end of the round you will slip stitch at the end of the round to join and finish off and you're going to repeat the process on the other side
your new to top is finished all you need to do now is weave in all the ends uh, that's it for today if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe bye